can you tell me what is the most reliable method to check hormones? So, you know, hormone testing, what do you recommend? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so <clears throat> it depends which hormones you're testing, right? So let's start off with uh, like the very basic one and that's thyroid conditions. If you suspect you have a thyroid issue, um, do you mind, do you mind, Nathan, if I just run through like super quickly some of the symptoms that are related to, um, to that? Sure. Um, so if you have a low thyroid function that, you know, it will typically manifest like some of the screaming symptoms would be you suddenly start putting on weight for no good reason. Nothing has changed. You're feeling a lot more fatigue. Your hair is beginning to fall out. Skin gets really dry. Your hair, hair is also not just falling, but it's also getting like kind of dry. You feel cold a lot of the time. Um, suddenly depression and anxiety start creeping in like you've never had that before. So those are like some of the really big, big things. Unfortunately, thyroid functions are, um, thyroid is very under, uh, diagnosed in our country by mainstream physicians. So you need to be really aware of that. Um, even when you test. So one of the things with thyroid testing is that you want to make sure you get the full panel, um, and thyroid, you can test through blood. That's perfectly fine. So you can get a physician. There's also a lot of online services these days. You can actually order it yourself. What's important about a thyroid function is you want to order five labs um, that are highly indicative of, of the state of your thyroid. The first one is TSH, whichever doctor would order, free T4, free T3, and then two types of antibodies, anti-TG, thyroglobulin antibodies, and anti-TPO, which is um, anti-thyro peroxidase antibodies to rule out Hashimoto's disease. That's a full panel. Um, and then, you know, and, and unfortunately um, in conventional medicine, the ranges for a healthy thyroid are too wide. Meaning, for example, you come, might come back and say, oh, my TSH is four and my doctor says it's perfectly fine because the range is up to five. But you're feeling all the symptoms that I mentioned, right? Do a search online about functional ranges for thyroid function because every, I'm not going to go through every one of them now. But then you will see that, for example, for healthy TSH, you should be between one and two. And having a four means that your body is really struggling. And so or that's not normal. optimal, right? I mean, the other, the other keyword to search would be optimal, optimal, right? Yeah. Because, because if you, if you just go with normal, which is what you're going to get from the standard, um, you know, if you have a doctor who is reading to you or telling you, oh, you're in a normal range, or that's what your test result says, normal range. But like you said, you're at the high end of that range, or in some cases, you're at the really low end of a certain range, right? Which can be also concerning, um, and they say, oh, that's normal. They're comparing it amongst the vast majority of people who've tested Correct. based on their levels, based on their diseases or, or symptomology, et cetera, et cetera. And, and the problem today is that uh, we have normalized being sick, Yeah, normalized having fatigue and, and having illness. And so, you know, we're getting these test results and data numbers based on people who generally aren't optimal who aren't very healthy. And so yeah. you want to be in an optimal range, not in a normal range. Exactly. And, you know, and, uh, and if you look at LabCorp, for example, uh, reference range, it's different than, what's, than it was five years ago. It was a lot rigid, more rigid five years ago than now is becoming wider. When it because to your point, people are walking in are sicker and sicker. So, so that's one really important indicator. Um, when it comes to, you know, testing, what's called steroid hormones, so things like progesterone, estrogen, testosterone, DHEA, cortisol levels, it's really important that you either test it through urine or through saliva. So that's that's key. Um, a, a, a allopathically or allopathic or like a typical traditional doctor would not order that for you. Um, you need to work with a functional practitioner to get that done. And that gets a little more, more complicated on the ranges and stuff. And so I, I will just leave it at that. My favorite is to do um, for like women's hormones and your cortisol, estrogen, and your estrogen metabolites, which are really important. Uh, Dutch test, D-U-T-C-H, um, is a really great test. It's a urine test. The only thing is you need to work with a practitioner who can help you interpret the results um, once you get that. Yeah. So yeah, there's a couple of things you can do, right? Is you could just find a functional practitioner. We have many, you know, dozens and dozens, maybe hundreds at this point inside healing life. Most of our doctors, holistic doctors, naturopathic doctors, functional medicine doctors um, can do consults with you over Zoom, over the phone, can order tests for you, help you with your labs, all that kind of stuff. You're not seeing people individually anymore, right, on Zoom or anything like that? No. So, so inside healinglife.net, inside there, you can you know, reach out to many of the practitioners that, uh, that are on our faculty. Um, and or 
Um, you know, there's a couple services that I use. One is called Everlywell, everlywell.com. I do some testing through them just to kind of keep an eye on, you know, my, my different biomarkers for different things. And then also, which I just did a saliva um, men's health um, hormone test. I just sent it out. So waiting to get that back actually. Um, and then I've also used um, Inside Tracker, Inside Tracker, which is really great because you get um, not only the testing uh, results, but then also interpreting those results. They give you the ranges, show you where you're at, and then also make some recommendations for you as well based on you know uh, different foods and different things you can do based on your results. And that's Inside Tracker. Dot com. So there's some things we can do, you know, there's so many great services now that we can use on our own if you're, if you're, you know, not working with a functional, it's always great. And I always recommend working with a functional medicine practitioner because they can guide you. Um, but the, what, one thing I just want to add when it comes to testing hormones is that a lot of the time when you suspect your hormones are off, a lot of other things are off too. And a lot of these other things will go off first before it comes to your hormones. So for example, um, you know, I actually consider testing hormones as a sort of a second step. The first step we recommend is to look at your baseline markers, such as your blood sugar levels, your inflammation markers, your vitamin D level, your magnesium level, right? And the list goes on. And so all these functional tests that really shows your overall, you know, I've, uh, nutrient level in your body, how you metabolize things, how is the health of your liver, are your liver enzymes elevated, right? Et cetera, et cetera. Uh, because a lot of the time those things need correcting. So for example, let's just say you get your labs back and you're like, oh, I have estrogen dominance. Okay. Well, you know, your metabolites are really high. All right. But then you kind of, it's hard to know what needs correcting um, until you get these other labs done, your foundational uh, labs, which, you know, a lot of fun functional practitioners know how to do those quite easily. So that is something that's equally important um, to test for. Want to learn what the leading edge science says about the most proven anti-cancer diet? What about experiencing the joy and power of meditation, emotional freedom, energy medicine yoga, and ancient healing methods? Or how about learning from world leading doctors and health experts what you can do to protect yourself and your family from chronic disease and live a long and healthy life? Imagine if you could learn directly from cancer conquerors how they beat cancer using holistic diet and lifestyle approaches. And imagine understanding why certain supplements work, others don't, and what to look for when choosing effective supplements for health and vitality. And what if every month you could get your most important health questions answered by world-leading integrative and holistic physicians and health experts. Now, it's all possible inside Healing Life. Join the health revolution today at healinglife.net.